my name is Olshandra. I'm the one is in charge for the incoming students in Beja. I will try to speak slowly because we have a lot of Spanish people. <laughs> Are you there? And uh, I, I will try to, to, to say some simple words so everybody can understand me. Okay? Now I'm going to present you uh, Cristina Palma. She's the coordinator of our mobility office and she will tell you some words. Okay? Good morning. We are just uh, a little bit delayed, but uh, I think we can um, uh, come over or through this delay. Uh, as Alexandra told you, I work in the mobility office, I work with Alexandra and on behalf of the president of the Polytechnic Institute of Beja, I would like to welcome you to Beja, to our city, to our institution and I wish you a nice and pleasant stay here in Beja, but also um, a healthy stay. You know, because uh, Erasmus students usually, when they go abroad, they spend some time abroad without the family, away. Sometimes they forget that they have to be uh, safe and healthy. So I hope you have a good time here in Beja, but of course, <coughs> safe and healthy. Okay? So um, sex, drugs, and alcohol are completely forbidden. <laughs> no, it's not. So for me, not so for me. Okay. okay. Um, I hope you succeed academically, of course, that you have good marks, but I hope you also learn Portuguese, you travel around our, our, um, our country, you learn something about our culture, and that you grow up as a person, but also as a student. Okay? I don't know if the Spanish students uh, are understanding me or if you need me to translate, you do. Okay, so um, Alexandra is uh, the responsible person in the mobility office for the incoming students. As you, of course, uh, by this time, you have, uh, I guess that you have already noticed that. Uh, so she's always very worried uh, with you, but you have to, how would I say, you have to help her. You know, you have to be a good student, you have to behave in the, the accommodation, and you have to uh, help her with the documents, with the administrative staff, with the, all the logistics, because she's just one person, and now the students that are coming for the second semester, they are starting to uh, send their applications. So she's uh, taking care of the students who uh, came here last <coughs> semester. She's issue, issue, uh, issuing the final certificates right now, the students who came to Beja before, um, before summer. She's taking care of you and she's also taking care of the next um, students who are coming next semester. So you need to help her. I, I ask you this, please. Uh, because sometimes it is difficult to deal with so many papers, with so many demands, because all of your own institutions have demands, have different documents, certificates, whatever. So please, if you need something, <coughs> if you change something, go to Alexander, explain, talk with her, but uh, uh, don't um, try to help her. Okay, so I, I, I would be very grateful if you could do that. Um, before um, going on, um, I guess that you already know uh, each other, but I don't know you and uh, my colleagues from the communication office, they would like to, to know you as well. So, um, before going on, I would like you to present yourself and explain the reasons why did you choose Beja to spend your Erasmus period to carry on probably one of the best uh, months of your whole life, I hope. Um, so, I've got here a list. May I proceed by the yes, colleagues? <laughs> they are all yours. Okay. I've got here a list. The list says that uh, we will have 30 uh, students in the, this semester, but not all the students are here. The Polish yeah, students. The Polish students only came on the summer. 
14 of October. Okay, so I would call uh, the Czech students to come here and to introduce yourself, please. Okay. And applause to them. My name is Philip Morris. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Philip Duica. I'm coming from uh, uh, Czech Republic. Uh, I live uh, in the city which name is uh, Bilovice. It's nearest uh, by uh, the city Uerska and And I study in another city, Brno, you know. And uh, um, I study finance, especially. Uh, banking and insurance. I'm in the uh, ninth semester and what else? You are, are you ending the degree more or less? No. Nineteenth semester? Ninth. Ninth, okay. Ninth. So, um, <coughs> Why did you choose better to carry on your graduate degree? Why I choose better? <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> did you hear I about better? By your colleagues or...? Uh, my, my friend uh, was here uh, last semester, so he told me some experience and uh, I, I wanted to visit there, so I choose the best friend. So you choose best because your colleague, yeah. uh, I hope, spent a good time here? Yes, and yes. Okay. Exactly. okay, and... Uh,
my specialist, specialist <laughs> is office finance management. Um, there are some reasons why I choose Portugal. Uh, first of all, uh, the subjects uh, which I study in my university and this university is almost the same, Similar, so it's yeah. good for my career. Okay. Uh, second reason, uh, I have a lot of people from Ukrainian who were here early <laughs> for the support, for the um, experience, I choose Portugal. And the third reason, I want to study in South Europe, country so Portugal is the best. I am from Spain, Sevilla. Sevilla. Uh, I study biology. Yes. contenta se, se por el final del año se está hablando portugués muy contenta <risa> muchas gracias ah, eh, otros estudiantes de biología José Manuel quién es yo, oh, yo. hola my name is Uh, and did you so have other opportunities to choose other institutions or yes, just this is my, my third, third uh, uh, yeah.